What's up, everybody? Polly is here with more on Ori in the Blind Forest, the definitive edition. The definitive edition, I can speak. Coming right off previous episode, we just learned about Kuro, the great owl, and that we have to go to Spider Town to rekindle, to get to the rekindling tree of water. We have a new mechanic here, which is broken ground. We can't break it yet, but this doofus can. Thank you. Beat the, beat the snot out of him, and let's explore up here first. Actually, no, we want to go down first. So we can climb back up. Let's get some health. I thought those always had health. Huh. Three playthroughs, and I never noticed that they don't. Alright, yeah. We need to pull this lever to lower the passage here. We don't quite have the ability to reach that that uh, ability tree, but we'll get there. This requires a different ability. Oh no, are we going to get a new ability soon? I hope so. Oh, we should. Oh, I don't think I went far enough. There we go. So level up. Which means... Um, I'll probably go with map markers next. Oh, I skipped it. Of course I did. Gotta go this way. Here it is. New, uh... New spirit tree. Anno was strong and courageous. Let's absorb the light of Anno. And now we have the charge flame. Charge flame is a contained explosion based around us. Boom. It's pretty weak. I don't think I, re I ever really use it. But it, it's good for breaking these things. Pow! Lots of lots of experience. And oh hey, that grew back. I'll take that, thank you. And so now these crystals are actually useful. So I can go here and boom. Yep, that's still broken up from earlier. And now we've made a shortcut. So instead of having to go up through those shooty things, we can just go up this way. Less important with the warps, I will admit. Uh, in the first version when I played this game, it was very much a uh, practice in learning all the shortcuts to get from place to place when you were trying to complete everything. And I don't normally complete games, so uh, like complete 100% complete. So the fact that I wanted to do it for this one, it should be telling. All right, these guys are annoying. They explode into more people, and again and again and again. Up oh, there it is. Come to me. Thank you. One third to the next level. And I do believe that experience gives less as you level up. I could be mistaken about that. That is like the only time I'll use the uh, the burst ability. For one thing, you need it to traverse areas, so it's not really worth it using it for combat. For another, as long as you're careful, you should be able to you kill most enemies a without it. It's just for convenience that I blow up those guys. Alright, we have terrible spiders. Don't have enough energy to open the door. Oh, shoot. We're good. Oh, this is gross. There's stuff over there we can get. But Alright, good. 
And you notice there's another breakable thing. So let's do this one first. Because there should be stuff over here I can get. Oh, no. No. Oh, okay. Ah. Life up. Happy day. And that's why I want the uh, abilities come to me, because otherwise I'd have to make some really crazy jumps over spikes. Alright, let's grab... There's a passageway up there, but we need a, some specific abilities to get. What we can do... Oh, is make all the noise in the world. So that... Let's see what we accomplish, shall we? I think there's stuff over here we can grab. Aside from, you know, gratuitous experience gain. Yep, more energy. And that refills our energy completely, too. Which is nice. Draw in some more experience in. Did not mean to do that. Because those take, like, those basically take a reload to respawn. And, again, the magnetic ability is proving its worth. Oh. Ah, I'm not gonna go for that. It's... I'm not that crazy. Oh, hey, we did level up. I will take that, and that, and all this. Oh, we're blocked. So we have to go up. So yeah, nice two levels. It's always satisfying when you get a multi-level level up. And you get to a save point, it's like, I'm going to spend a lot of stuff. Sorry about that. Dogs have alerted. Uh, can't trigger this yet. That ability comes later. These guys. Holy cow, these guys. So, uh, they uh, run away from you and continue to try shooting. There's an ability we get that makes it really fun to fight them. But right now, they're just a pain. There we go. So, we need a map fragment, which we don't have yet. Yeah, my uh, grandmother is staying with us, so we get to have her little schnauzer, who is very vocal and likes to be inspired by the poodle, who is in turn inspired by the schnauzer. It's a vicious cycle of uh, yappy barkiness. Alright, um, over here there's not much that we can do right now, so I'm going to skip it. We're just going to grab the fragment. That is the place I'm thinking of. Yeah, that's that's the way to Mount Horu with the element of warmth. And oh, we're just not ready for that kind of nonsense. Uh, again. All right. So let's take a look in, at what we're doing here. Oh. Yeah. So this, that's Mount Horror right there. We just, we're not ready for that. We can get about as far as the center of the screen, where that kind of uh, dog leg shape, it's more of a frog leg. Right. Uh, I was hoping for health, so I'm actually pretty low. Now, creating a spirit link, doing this thing, uh, where we saved that first time, would have been a great idea. All right, um, would have been a great idea. I will be right back. I'm going to get back to that spot, and I'll see you all shortly. And we're back. That wasn't that long. So one of the other reasons I should have say I should have done the spirit link is because I'll go ahead and show it off. Oh no, it it doesn't yet. Eventually, go ahead and level up now. Eventually, creating a uh, soul link, sorry, soul link, 
restores health. So it's a good way while you're in the middle of a dungeon, or middle of a level, to, to heal up. Ah, here we go. Well, I'll just do this one. Set. For the purpose of speeding things up, I'll just go with the, uh, picking up the thing that automatically absorbs, uh, pickups and increases healing. Soul Link is ready again. There's a dude. Just stay nice and far away from these guys. Because I don't really have a lot of, um, spirit energy to do a charge attack. Oh, back to full. All right, just climb our way up here. Push through this. When you can do it. Oh. And Natch. There's a well here. Let's make sure there's nothing in the corners. Nope. Let's go ahead and save. I pushed this the wrong way. Oh, that was dumb. Well, might as well go heal up again. I mean, I'm right here. No point not to. Now, it is nice that this rock slightly glows at the outline. Alright, so that gives me enough room to jump up there. It's just so that we can know we select it. Gimme. No, no, hey. No. No. You son of a gun. A Guman. From the Forlorn Ruins, huh? And go figure. His name is. Oh. So we need the water vein. So there's actually six things we need. Because there's always going to be a thing to open the dungeon that we need. In this case, uh, Gumo has stolen our, uh, our water vein. Oh, you know what? Boom! I say as I said I never used the thing. Get back here. Nope. There we go. So there's no way we can reach that over there yet. Well, that's not true. Do this. Are there any pickups? Yes! A level up. Splendid. Yeah. Oh, these guys. So they leave, uh... Well, first of all, they can break those, and then they leave a mess to, uh, that you can't land on. Alright, and again, the water is still poisoned. I don't think we are. I can't jump high enough to get up there. And over here... Oh yeah, there he is. A jerk. Let's explore real quick. If, it, if the other way is where I think it is now... I, just get out of my way. Well, if you're gonna drop that much light, or that much energy... Yeah. We can't reach the other way. Again? Oh, these guys respawn. They have such a short respawn timer. They're good to farm, but never really felt like this game required much farming of the player. Oh, I can make that. 
I don't think I need to. I don't think there's anything up here, but... Yeah. Alright. So that unlocks this guy. Who can then... Hit me! Hit me! Thornfelt Swamp. Well, we should be able to pick something up over here. Nope, I can't reach that. Well, can I though? Or can't I though? No. I'll take a lot of hits getting back. And I don't... I'm not that close to a level up, so we're just gonna keep going. So we're just going to continue breaking so that this guy, this friend, can do that for us. They're good people. The Moon Grotto. Alright, those are insta-death beams, so... And we're also kind of at the point where we're going to let it off for now. But I will see everyone next time. It's been Polius playing Ori in the Blind Forest, the Definitive Edition. But first to level up. Ultra Spirit Magnet. And... Yeah, let's go for those two. So next time we'll get Spirit Fun. Anyway. I'll see you all next time.